What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldessar from teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're looking at a watch available for purchase on my website with the Orient Pilot. So if you have any questions, link down below to the actual product page, as well as a place where you can book a call with me personally if you have any questions about this watch or any other watch on my site for purchase. I've really enjoyed actually chatting with people, so don't hesitate to definitely book a call with me. Love to chat with you. But guys, let's take a closer look at this watch. Looking at a rundown of the specs here, we have a case size of 42 millimeters, thickness 11.5 millimeters, lug width of 22 millimeters, lug to lug of 49 millimeters, water resistance of 100 meters, movement is an automatic orient F6722, crystal is hard mineral, and price $265. Now a little background on Orient, they're definitely one of my favorite brands and certainly producing some of the best value in the world of watches and really was the entry door into this world of mechanical watches for myself as the brand was actually responsible for me buying my first mechanical watch. But now looking more in a modern sense here, in the past few weeks I have discussed a few different Pilot Flieger style watches on this channel, talking about it more in an affordable tier. And the brand I looked at primarily was Laco. And I think as a result of their heritage connection and being one of the original five brands offering these type of watches, I think they just make a lot of sense from an affordable tier. But the watches that I looked at were still $400. And if you don't have necessarily that budget, I think the best place to look underneath that range to get the best quality product of the styling is a look at Japan, probably at Seiko, but also Orient. The common choice for a field pilot style watch with Flieger undertones definitely is the Seiko 5 series with the SNK 800s, which come around $100 and is a great option. However, in this video, we have a very nice offering as well from Orient that I think is that really nice next step in this process, getting some nice up spec and is a nice, great, more affordable alternative to those Lacos that I've mentioned on the channel before. So first looking at this piece, we have a case size of 42 millimeters and a lug to lug of 49 millimeters, which is going to size some wears out, but understanding the original function and need for legibility here, I think this makes the sizing make a little bit more sense, but I couldn't help but think that a 40 millimeter case wouldn't be a better universal choice. That said, the watch wears on the wrist quite well, and it's assisted in its thinner case of 11.5 millimeters. The case comes in a brush finish throughout, which I think is a better choice when working with the matte elements of the design, especially with the dial. Along the three o'clock side of the case, we have a screw down crown, which helps the watch achieve its nice water resistance of 100 meters. As one of the surprising realizations when it comes to pilot and field style watches is that 50 meters is typically the norm. So getting a bit of extra security here with the water resistance in order to swim and undertake other water activities is a big plus. The watch comes with a contrast stitch strap that is surprisingly quite good for the standards usually expected of watches of this price range. It comes with a matte finish along the outside, is slightly padded, and features a calfskin underlining that aids in its comfort. This considered, I'd probably go for some third-party options as well, maybe get a brown strap as well, because the watch of this styling definitely needs to be able to take advantage of those multiple straps. It's just crazy versatile. Transitioning to the center of the watch, we have a hardened mineral crystal, which is a bit of a bummer, as I think many of the other attributes led on more of a tool watch focus, but it does provide a very clean view of the dial. On the dial, we have a quasi Flieger style pilot watch that has many of the popular elements associated with this design. It comes with that black dial surface with it coming in a more glossy dial finish with this one, bold contrasting markers, a plethora of superluminova, and the triangular marker at the 12 to assist with orientation. So this watch follows a more type B style dial. It was a watch design made popular during World War II by German flight navigators. The dial layout is positioned in a certain way in order for minutes to be incredibly easy to track with them being featured in large font along the outside with the hours residing inward as minutes were the crucial element to monitor at a glance in the air. The watch features a date window that is nestled in tightly at the three and has Superluminova present across the dial being present in the minute track markers, the large minute numerals, and the three hand set at the center. The ends of the hands are loomed with the central fixated points being black, making the white hands appear as if they're almost floating across the dial. Flipping the watch over, we have a very basic closed case back, hiding from view the automatic Orient Caliber F6722. Now one of the leading reasons I think for the typical respect that Orient gets from enthusiasts is with their development of in-house calibers being made in Japan. The movements are some of the best in their tier and to be producing their own in-house calibers for this price is impressive. And although they're typically not the best thing to look at, for the price that they occupy, they're really well done and being quite reliable in the process. 
The movement we have here operates at 3 hertz, 21,600 vibrations per hour, has a power reserve of 40 hours, features hand winding and hacking, so you can stop that second hand when pulling out to the farthest position, and is rated to be minus 15 seconds a day to plus 25 seconds per day in accuracy. Now, one of the most imitated designs is this Pilot Flieger style watch. And I have mentioned already, I think my top choice from an affordable tier, a relatively attainable tier with Laco. But still, $400 is a lot of money to be throwing out at a watch, especially if you've never done that before and try to make that rationalization. So if you don't necessarily have that money to spend, maybe you want to get something that's just kind of a fun throw around piece. I think Japan is definitely the place to look at. And Orient is certainly, I think, rising in terms of maybe being the best value for money brand out there if you're talking about mechanical watch point of view. This watch is not perfect. I think the case size is a little bit larger, so it's going to size some people out. It'd be great to have a sapphire crystal, but I think the overall looks, I think the other specs that are being provided here, this is a real winner. And for the right type of buyer, I think it's a no-brainer to go for. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. But also, if you're in the market for this watch, links in the description to the product page where you can actually purchase the watch, but also where you can book a call with me to talk through your next purchase of this watch or any other watch on my website. Don't hesitate to use that feature. I really love just actually doing it and talking with people that follow the channel and no pressure as well to buy anything. It's just really fun to chat. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.